India is on the cusp of major infrastructure development that will transform the nation. After gaining independence in 1947, the country faced massive challenges including poverty, lack of electricity, and clean water access. However, India has made remarkable progress, becoming one of the fastest growing economies globally. The government has now prioritized mega projects to uplift millions from poverty, generate employment, improve urban rural connectivity, and establish India as an infrastructural powerhouse. This script explores some of the most ambitious mega projects underway that will change the face of India. The breathtaking Chenab Bridge being built over the clouds in Jammu and Amp. Kashmir will be the world's highest rail bridge upon completion. This engineering marvel spanning 1,315 meters across the mighty Chenab River Gorge will rise to a dizzying height of 359 meters, 35 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower. Constructed to link Kashmir with the rest of India through an all-weather railway route, the $92 million project will connect Baramula to Kazigund, passing through the treacherous Himalayan terrains of Rayasi district. Designed to withstand wind speeds up to 260 kmhr and extreme temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees C, the steel and concrete arch bridge designed by AFCON's infrastructure and IISC Bangalore will be blast resistant too. The Indian railways along with defense technology from DRDO aim to make it withstand explosions and natural disasters. The challenging Himalayan terrain prone to frequent landslides and harsh weather conditions makes construction extremely difficult. However, the bridge is considered an engineering marvel because of the innovative construction techniques involved. It has a network of cables and gigantic pylons holding up the bridge deck. The steel arch is being erected using the complex cantilever launching technique to build huge balanced cantilevers from both sides and join them in the middle. This bridging system does away with the need for support from below. Despite concerns regarding stability and safety causing delays in the past, the bridge is now in the advanced stages of completion, with the arch fully installed by August 2022. Once open, possibly by early 2024, the bridge will provide all-weather connectivity 24x7 between the Kashmir Valley and the rest of India for the first time, ushering in prosperity. The Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, which will be India's longest sea bridge upon completion, aims to solve Mumbai's perennial traffic woes by linking it to Navi Mumbai across the Arabian Sea. This 21.8 kilometers long connector comprising a 16.1 kilometers sea bridge and 5.7 kilometers elevated viaduct sections will be a game changer for the cities. Currently, traveling between Mumbai and Navi Mumbai takes 90 minutes to 2 hours in peak traffic. The Sea Link will cut this time to just 20 minutes, bypassing congested roads. This project envisioned in the 1960s got approval in 2018 after much planning. The $2.2 billion bridge is being funded mainly by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, which is financing over 80% of the cost. Larson and Amp Tubro are constructing the ambitious Sea Link, which is India's first eight-lane extra-dosed bridge. Such bridges are highly stable and economical compared to traditional cable-stayed bridges. The connectors will start at Seori, cross Thane Creek near Eroli, and terminate at Churli in Navi, Mumbai. Built using over 200,000 tons of steel-fabricated extra-dosed towers, it integrates the best features of girder and cable-stayed bridge designs for maximum feasibility over the sea. Environmental concerns have been addressed by changing alignment to save mangroves and avoid flamingo nesting sites. Studies were also conducted regarding the impact on turtles and corals. Land acquisition and rehabilitation of project-affected people have been completed. The Sea Link promises to bring Mumbai and Navi Mumbai cars closer, decongesting roads, improving connectivity to Navi Mumbai Airport, and opening up new areas for development. Launched in 2015, the Smart Cities mission is the Narendra Modi government's flagship urban renewal and retrofitting program aimed at sustainable development and making 100 Indian cities citizen 
friendly and livable. With a total proposed investment of 2 trillion Indian rupees, $28 billion, the mission aims to provide core infrastructure, clean energy, smart solutions, and improved quality of life through area-based development. Under the competitive selection process, 100 cities were shortlisted based on feasibility, strategic plan, scalability, etc. To receive central government funding ranging from RS1, 000 crore, to RS2, 500 crore each, with matches from state governments and urban local bodies. Unique proposals for transformative projects were key to getting selected. With collaborations with foreign agencies like Bloomberg Philanthropies and Inner City, the mission focuses on revamping an identified area of each city by implementing world-class, innovative smart solutions. As of 2022, work orders have been issued for over 6,200 projects worth RS1. 6 trillion covering 5,151 smart city projects, with another 3,000 projects worth RRS 5 to 90 billion completed. Cities like Surat, Indore, Ahmedabad, Bhopal, Visakhapatnam, and Pune have taken the lead with technology integration in governance, mobility, sustainable environment, and economic growth. Improvements range from integrated command centers, solar rooftops, and Internet of Things sensors to intelligent traffic systems. However, cities like Kanpur and Dharamshala have lagged due to a lack of feasibility and capacity. Overall, this mission aims to create globally benchmarked modern urban spaces, improving infrastructure and enhancing prosperity. The Eastern Peripheral Expressway EPE, is India's first smart highway that forms a giant ring road encircling India's capital New Delhi. 135 kilometers long with six to eight lanes, this $1.2 billion access controlled expressway was built at record speed in just 500 days by the National Highways Authority of India NHAI. It aims to divert heavy traffic not destined for Delhi away from the city, relieving congestion and curbing severe air pollution. Starting in Uttar Pradesh, it traverses six states, UP, Haryana, Rajasthan, Delhi, and passes through Faridabad and Palwal before re-entering UP. Interchanges connect the expressway with major highways like Eastern Highway, Delhi Agra Highway, Delhi Jaipur Highway, and NH300. It has seven intersections with various national highways and expressways, providing seamless connectivity. Equipped with state-of-the-art traffic management and electronic toll collection systems, this steel flyover highway is India's first with solar power, drip irrigation, LED lights, fiber optic network, and vehicle actuated signage. It deploys the latest intelligent transportation system, ITS, for real-time monitoring. With synchronized traffic signals, CCTV surveillance, and emergency call boxes, it aims for maximum safety. The wide tree-lined highway separates incoming and outgoing traffic to prevent collisions. This sustainable expressway reduces fuel consumption through smoother traffic flow, lowering carbon footprint. Built in record time, the high-tech EPE sets a new standard for intelligent expressways in India. To boost freight transportation, the Indian Railways has undertaken the construction of dedicated freight corridors spanning over 3,000 kilometers across the country. The western dedicated freight corridor linking Delhi and Mumbai is now fully operational. The eastern corridor connecting Punjab to West Bengal will also open soon. These high-speed, high-capacity freight networks built for $16 billion will not only increase rail freight movement, but also enable faster passenger trains on existing tracks. The Delhi-Mumbai corridor has cut freight time by half to 24 hours. Such dedicated infrastructure will make India's supply chains more efficient and integrate markets. The Sardar Sarovar Dam is one of the largest infrastructure projects in India aimed at sustainable water security and hydroelectricity generation. Built on the Narmada River in Gujarat with a current height of 163 meters, it is the third highest concrete dam globally. 
The project faced stiff opposition over displacement and environmental concerns. However, the $6 billion dam engineered to withstand major earthquakes will irrigate 2 million hectares of land in drought-prone Saurashtra and Kutch, quenching the thirst of parched farmlands. Its 1.2 gigawatts hydroelectric plant will also provide clean renewable energy to millions as India works towards its climate targets. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, the legendary freedom fighter who united India post-independence, is honored with the world's tallest statue in Gujarat. The iconic Statue of Unity, rising 182 meters in the Narmada River, was built using 1850 tons of bronze, 7,000 tons of iron, and 18500 tons of cement. This architectural marvel was constructed in just 46 months for 400 million dollars. Set amidst serene surroundings, the high-tech museum and digital library at the statue complex educate visitors about Sardar Patel's contribution to the country. As a popular tourist attraction, this statue immortalizes one of India's greatest leaders. The Delhi Meerut Expressway is India's first 14-lane highway designed for super-fast connectivity between Delhi and Meerut through Haryana. Covering 96 kilometers in under 60 minutes, this $450 million project has cut travel time by more than half. Equipped with a 22-kilometer long cycle track, it aims to promote sustainable mobility. Safety is ensured through CCTV cameras, underground works for utilities, and an efficient traffic management system. Once the regional rapid transit system phase is completed, commuters will have mass rapid transport access as well, making travel seamless between the National Capital Region and Meerut. Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation is implementing one of India's most extensive metro rail projects, covering over 140 kilometers across two phases. Operational since 2011, it already ferries over 4.5 lakh people daily on its 48 stations along the purple and green lines. The metro has reduced traffic congestion and commute time in the IT hub. Its innovative financing through loans, PPP models, and land monetization allowed rapid completion in multiple phases simultaneously. While phase one is complete, phase two envisions six new metro lines integrated with suburban rail, significantly enhancing mobility in the city. With sustainable infrastructure and last mile connectivity, the metro is transforming urban mobility in Bangalore. These mega projects showcase India's infrastructure revolution unfolding at an extraordinary scale and speed. Building highways in record times, monumental rail bridges, defiance extreme weather, smart cities infused with technology. India's future has arrived. This new India in the making aspires to be a vibrant global leader.